How did they go in so far? Good. Long. Good. Long? Yeah, we yeah. flew in from the East Coast. Oh, okay. <laughs> we landed 10 a.m. this morning, so it was. Wow. We were out early this morning. So right now you guys going to Northern Pine. Northern Pine. Oh yes, okay. You know where that is? Uh no, I will follow the map. <laughs> yeah, well it's pretty easy by the looks of the map. Are you from this area? I used to live around here like twelve years ago. Oh wow. Doesn't matter how long you live in some places, you will never know all the streets. That's why I started doing Uber. There you so go. I can um, go and see different streets of my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of D? Tree? D tree. So here we are. Here we are. Northern Pine Brewing. Again. Again. Second time. Hopefully we uh, rock this function like we did last time. There's going to be plenty of people here, hopefully. Yeah, the parking lot's full. It's fuller than it was last time we pulled that red hot bitch in here. The, the bettest. Yeah, the baddest, baddest, baddest. baddest bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and the cars are still piling in. Man, busy. We're popular. So, uh, come on, follow us on in. What's up, How are you doing? Good to see you, man. Good to see you guys. I'm Wayne Wilson, Marine Corps veteran. Did uh, five years with uh, Second Battalion, 5th Marines, right here at Camp Pendleton. Right now, I'm just a good old nasty civilian. I run Vet Together. Vet Together is all about getting veterans together, hence the name. Wow, genius, right? We get veterans together at events like this, at Northern Pie Brewery, and, and uh, at various VFW and American Legion posts, and just get guys out and network, but the main reason is, is for camaraderie. The goal of Vet Together is to have, have a Vet Together at least once a month more if possible. If I could do it every night, whether it be here in San Diego or, or anywhere else throughout the, uh, the nation, is to try and get veterans together just to purely just get off the freaking couch and just, just socialize, you know? I mean, yeah, if you, you land a job, cool, fine. It's more about getting all of us together and finding your new tribe. The Marine Corps does an amazing job at training us to be a Marine. For myself, I was no 311. I was out there kicking down doors, all that fun stuff. But when it came time for me to get out, I was I was tired. Mentally and, and physically, I was, I was drained, I was tired, I was like, I am done. I did five years, I did four deployments in those five years, I am, I'm done when it comes time to get out, you have that, that TAP program, you have whatever the, the, the military tries to do to help you transition to civilian life, but they don't unbrainwash you, if that makes sense. You still have that Marine Corps mentality. There's that, that sense that when you get out of the military that you lose your tribe, you lose that camaraderie. For, for the first like six months, you're like, yes, I am out. I don't have to report to anybody. I can grow a beard. I can do whatever I want. But after those couple months, you're like, where's my buddies? I used to hang out with my best friends every single day, 24 seven, and now they're no longer there, you know? It's up to us to continue that camaraderie. It's up to us to continue all of that. You need to get together and, and spread that camaraderie again, you know? If I had to spread any message, it'd be this. You get out of the military and it's, you're checking out of a unit you need to find that new ch unit to check into. You need to find your new tribe and create that new community, that new camaraderie, that new everything that you were so used to for years. And now you have to find that that new unit, you know? How's the trip? Oh, it's been long, it's been a long day. We, uh... It took the long season. Uh, <laughs> this down, guy. Down the one. Uh -huh. So, and it just stopped a bunch of times. And, uh, Bill hit us up, and there was a uh, Vietnam traveling wall. It was in, uh, where was that town? It was uh, it up north? Yeah, up north a little bit. So we just went there and hit that up. So that was cool. Nice. Just cool. making a day out of it, man. We've been on the roads heading down here since, what, 11? 11, 11.30ish? Mm -hmm. Something like that. That's a long, slow track. Yeah, you know. No hurry, though. We, right. we, had, all, we had nothing but time. Yeah, right. definitely. Last time we were here, we slept down down by the pier in oh, our car because we were here too. Oh, right. Right. You know. Are you, hey, brother, man? Oh, you guys found it. Yeah, yeah, really. 
Oh, we were like 10 miles from Yeah, there. you were right on the beach, yeah, what, man. What was yeah. that place called? Let's see. Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa. Yeah, you were just inland. So, yeah. Or just the beach, yeah. Yeah, we, no. yeah, it was like six miles from quick, us. man. That was perfect. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Talked to a couple of the guys there, yeah. that, you know, that run the thing. Yeah, when I was there this morning, there was some dudes having a real hard time. Have you been to the one in D.C.? No. no yeah. I've been there many years no, ago. They'll fucking take your breath away, man. It's, it's something. I'm glad you guys made it, though. Hey, hold on, right there. Oh, look at this guy. Are <laughs> <laughs> you fucking crazy? <laughs> what? Did you know about this? Not until he walked up to me at the bar. Oh, are you kidding me? Fucking surprise, surprise. You guys been talking about surprises. The one and only, dude. <laughs> Where are you staying at? No idea. Oh, sweet. The Ramada. The Ramada. Okay. <laughs> hey. 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 Look at that. What are we putting in there? Who's eating those ribs? I'm starting to What's play them. <laughs> it's a swing fucking. God damn, dude. You got like the whole deal. The whole... I, I went all out, dude. When I, eat, when I eat barbecue, I get the most expensive fucking meal I can get. He comes walking over, I'm like, fuck your zipper. I had my zipper down, I was ready for a party, dude. Fucking uh, yeah, what's your ass again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we thought it'd be 20 years. Yeah, that's what he said. See you when you're 60, dude. Oh, I'm 40 years. now, 60 will be the next time. I mean, we'll why dead. do it any sooner? No reason to. Right. Got some more beer coming, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Thanks for having us again. Yeah, for sure. Let's go. Good, man. Good. We, I'll be right in. <laughs> all right, all right. Toasting. I'm not Oh, kidding. I'm like, uh... You quit drinking. You guys quit drinking. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh! Dude, look at this. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize it with the uh, fucking beard, man. Yeah. Hello, we got back from, you know, we went to Japan and then we went to fucking PTA, like, remember two weeks after we got back. We got back from PTA, dude, and I was, I think I was fapped out to the chow hall then. We get back to Hawaii, dude. I go to a, we had that little morning meeting, you know. Sergeant Cole kicks me out. Storm, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, like, whatever, I go back to my room. And they fattened me out the motor pool for six months, bro. And then I came back to 81. They had somebody helping me get out. Walking with me, dude, to get me the fuck out of here. Like, you're gone. Get him out. We gotta, we gotta make sure you don't fuck this up. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we can't have it. Oh, I, was, I forgot a step. Oh, my bad. Yeah, dude, they were on me like, nope, you gotta go here today. He's gonna take you there. Then you're gonna go here. You gotta go do your dental. You gotta do your physical. You're gone. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Welcome back. Dude, best of luck to you guys on everything that you're doing. Appreciate the effort. I know a lot of people are showing up. You guys are getting traction, which is badass. You guys are doing something super cool. So, it's good to see you guys on the second round of this. Hey, good seeing you guys. Good seeing you guys. Again, welcome back, and best of luck on the, on the journey. I love it. Looking forward to it. Take care. My name is Tim Chambers. I'm a Marine veteran. I was stationed at the Pinna Gone. I'm known as a saluting Marine. I was out wandering around. I saw these vets on motorcycles zooming by, and I got tired of burying veterans. I thought that was too late to thank them for their service. So I jumped out in the middle of the street and popped up a salute, and the bikes kept coming. I did not know what I got myself into. I'm shaking, and like over four hours later, last bike swung around me and both sides of the street rushed me and they said Marine you gave me my welcome home and it became my moral post and for like the first six years no one knew my name unidentified Marine saluting bikers in the Marine Corps times I like that and then they got to know my name so they'd say my name when they'd roll by and that meant a lot to me but now they all expect me and because of that notoriety I get called to go over the country and support people doing positive things and I reinforce the good and I'm doing a 22 city tour across America so there's a lot of veterans all over the country I'm going to be visiting them and motivating them and letting them know that what they fought to have respect to care about your elders to have some common sense tuck in your shirt hello inside of that I'm going to be inspiring dentists
So next Veterans Day, mark my words, you go get your little free dinner at Applebee's and then you'll go to your dentist down the street and get a free cleaning. I'm passionate about helping vets with unaffordable dental. And if we can get them doing preventative maintenance like in the motor pool, that I had to do way too much, then I believe it can reduce the cost of health costs down the road in emergency room visits. I just care a lot. I didn't get to do a whole lot in the Marine Corps, but I never forgot what my senior drill instructor told me. Whether it's in the manual or not, you don't walk on the grass. Just motivate people to care about themselves and each other and know that they're already important in society. I never went to war, unfortunately. Medical limitations didn't allow me, but I still care. I'm just a motivator. So I'm trying to honor all my brothers that I buried and all the men and women that went ab abroad and came back. Every day I march forward, I'm honoring them and their service and not letting it go in vain. But I'm just a pope, but I'm a motivated Marine. I was A duty, through during seal of the Marine Corps. Let's go for Chambers, I'm gonna help you. I still shine my shoes. I don't shine no brass but, or polish, but what year? 94 to 2010. I was in 95 to 99. The Delmar E Club, baby. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I had an IROC. I had an IROC. <laughs> I actually like broke one of my tires at the E Club in Delmar by being stupid. Being a, being a young Lance Corporal or Corporal, whatever it was at the time. I was stationed in Porto, deployed once with them at, with 1 1. And then my last year was uh, spent at the Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, serving under the commanding general suite. In that short four, four years, I had both the, the, the polar opposite ends of the spectrum in the Marine Corps. It's kind of wild. Hey, uh, we're gonna do a quick uh, picture. So if everybody can get behind the Northern Pine Brewing. The bar? Yeah. Oh, well, not sure. behind the bar, but <laughs> in front. In front of the bar. In front of whatever, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Right, Suck right, in right. your guts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Suck in your guts. Hey, I'm in the back row. Yeah. We're gonna run over here. Get in here. Come on. If you guys are here with us, we go. Everybody look at the camera. Let's count to three. Two, three. It's videotaping us. Oh, shit. That's the easiest way of doing it. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't recording. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's, a, that's the old judge. Dude, this is awesome. My name is Jake Smoke. I'm with Tiffany Spear Real Estate Team. Prior Marine, I got out. I was 2002 to 2007. I was an aviation Marine. Don't hold it against me. I served overseas in Iraq. I had an amazing time in the Marine Corps. I've been out for such, you know, a little bit of time now, right? And I understand once you get out, there's a huge gap. A gap of resources, a gap of connection, and just a loss of a brotherhood. With what you guys are doing to really kind of create these connections, you're sitting in a car and you're driving across America to get in front of other veterans who would much rather be sitting on the couch and they're like, fuck it. I'll just get my ass off the couch and go out to an event like here at Northern Pine Brewery in Oceanside and meet up with other vets. That gets us out of the house. Bottom line, you need to continue to grow and continue to do what you're doing. You guys are impacting other veterans by leading other veterans. You're being a mentor. I guess I can't put it any simpler. You're showing it and doing it by example. Doesn't matter when you serve, combat, whenever, doesn't matter the time frame. You get out there and communicate with other vets. Tip of the Spear real estate team, we're brokered by Keller Williams in San Diego, myself and another Marine Corps veteran, Brian Britton. We cater to the veteran community because veterans are so underserved when it comes to their real estate benefits, i.e. specifically the VA home loan and that process. We go through the military, we get out of the military, we go through a, t a TAP class, the transitioning class that is at the end of your service and they supposedly go through all these benefits. But what they don't really thoroughly go over is the VA home loan and that home buying process. And that's something that myself and the other members of Tip the Spear Real Estate team, we specialize in. And that's our primary goal is to help and assist veterans, active duty or that have been out for 10, 20 years to get into a home. Bottom line, we love to serve. Let's we'll see what you got that there. The phone's upside down, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, okay. it's good. I mean, it's good. There's a little chill in here. You guys out here smoking cigarettes? Smoking and joking. I quit like, oh, what, shit. maybe eight years ago? Eight years ago. Oh, nice. I haven't you know, smoked you? No. I don't do anything. I'm drug free. <laughs> I'm drug free. You gotta get out. You gotta get out and give an official, oh, official kiss and hug. You got the banner? Yeah. 
Castle's oh, yeah, got. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you're, I don't know. you're a fucking tree hugger. Tree hugger. <laughs> Oh, why are you the tree? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, Ruby. Ah, good seeing your ass. Right. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby. Yeah, you guys are all roommates. You did guys you, are all my roommates. Did you two kiss? No. We did. We did. All right, okay. stretched out his butthole real quick. Very good. I mean, yeah, I just fucking he realized that. Good to go. Wow. You guys all right. were all my roommates. Oh, that's fucking never crazy, there. isn't it? Huh? I no, there. I know, but you got. This is my first roommate. Then it was you, then it was you. All Bye, right. roommates. Homie, we'll see you in 20 <laughs> yeah. years. Yep. 20 years. <laughs> 20 wow. years, bro. 20 years. Hopefully, I'm still alive. All right, drive Take safe, care. man. Good seeing you. Same here. Strong, you didn't bring your roller, did you? My roller? Yeah. yeah. Did you forget yours? No, I didn't forget it. I didn't bring it. What's a roller? Are you guys doing? Back roller. Oh, oh, what? Back roller. Don't use that shit. What? What's the matter with you? You just gotta take it, dude. What do you mean you gotta just take just it? You gotta take it. How do you Back take forward. it? Push harder on your shit. Oh, yeah? Nothing. <laughs> this guy, he's ready to fucking kill everybody. <laughs> I thought he was yeah, just waiting for us to open the elevator for him. Yeah, yeah it's like, dude. How's it, how's it going? <laughs> hey, hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> hey, you sweaty fuck. <laughs> sweaty fuck. <laughs> We're all ready to kill you, so <laughs> please, please. Are you trying to push one out? No, my back. I assume I'm... we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they oh. got a breakfast. You guys want to catch breakfast at like what? Yeah, look at the exit sign. Why is it so low? Six o'clock for breakfast, you guys? Oh, I'm not that early. Well, you know what? That's That would be six fucking hours of sleep. It's a long time. It is. I mean, it's, I, I don't know. I'd say seven. All right, how about eight? Hey, like I said, we're trying to be on the road by 9. You gotta be in LA by 1, 11? Downey by 11. Oh, okay. We're just trying to get on the road by 9-ish. 9. -ish, nine. Uh, yeah, just shoot me a text and we'll go. Yeah, because we'll be up early. That's a lot of sleep. I'm about to get the most sleep I've ever gotten on one of these trips. Oh, oh you already got the shoes off? I am smoked. It smells like a pool in here. Damn, Is that me? I am going to shit myself if I push one more out like that. So there we were. Oh, smokes. Very successful night tonight at the uh, Northern Pine Brewing. We met quite a few new people and some of the old ones. People that came out from the Vet Together event that Wayne put together. Northern Pine Brewing uh, hosted. Yeah, so uh, we closed that fucker down, which on a Thursday it closes at 9. Which was actually good because it got us out of there. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, well, we found ourselves at Buffalo Wild Wings eating wings and having a beer there. That's how we Smoked. wrapped her up. Smoked. The travel days are hard, man. Yeah, well, They're hard. You know, we're with, fucking two old fat fuckers, too, so. I don't know about you. What? Not old. All right, I was gonna say, cause you're <laughs> fucking fat. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. Sucking it in. Oh. oh. <laughs>